Well, the simulator is taking forever to load up. Welcome to the stream. If it's your first time here, uh, just having technical difficulties. I'm Martin Wenzel. A uh, slow day this morning for streaming, at least on my channel. But it is what it is, I guess. Ah, uh, we flew in the Cessna 208B Grand Caravan from Guatemala to Belize last flight. And I don't know if I can... Yeah, I can. Oh, never mind. I like that. Uh, but let's, uh, get this flight set up. So we're going to be flying from uh, Charlotte, Douglas International Airport, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, up to Greensboro. Uh, what is the airport? There, Greensboro. Uh, Piedmont Triad uh, International Airport in Greensboro, North Carolina. We're going to be on the Bombardier, Bombardier CRJ-700 from Aerosoft PSA, PSA Airlines. Um, American Eagle livery. Bend that music. Right. There we go. And let me get to parking. Go and start this flight. Hopefully, this works. Uh, for some reason, I tried to restart the flight and then the simulator just froze up. I've been having every type of uh, technical issue possible. I'm only streaming to YouTube right now. That's why the chat box looks a little different. I gotta, I have to test it out and see if it actually works at all. Hold my way. Hello. Yeah, it doesn't show anything on the <laughs> on the chat box. That's fun. Well, I guess I'll mess with that later since we're going to go to the main screen here and get into our flight. Alright, here we are. Hey Lucrezia D'Arco, welcome in. Uh, I don't know why there's no other planes at this airport. Really annoying. Um, I got Alfie into group traffic running and nothing's showing up. I've got ATC HUD. Or FS HUD ATC running, no traffic. Um, wonder if there's something wrong with this airport? Because it's not showing traffic anywhere. It is really frustrating. Turn down that. Alright, anyway, let's uh, get this flight going. So today we're going to be flying from Charlotte. Uh, Douglas International Airport in Charlotte, North Carolina. You can see Charlotte downtown behind us. Uh, and we're going to be flying up to Tr uh, Piedmont Triad International Airport in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, let's get the... I think we can do catering here. Um, U.S. Airways. They don't exist anymore. Catering vehicles are on their way. Alright, just getting things set up. There we go, now we're starting to get planes populating, finally. That's what I like to see. Right, let's open up the door. We're going to get in the plane like this, and then I think we'll extend the jetway later for the passengers. The ground power cart. Fuel chocks are in place. And we're going to get some things started on this plane. I actually need to get my checklist. Oh, 
All right, there we go. We got the checklist up and ready to go. So first things first, let's just do our quick run through the plane. Parking brake is set. Landing gear is down. We need to open the service door. Can I open the service door is the question? There it is. There it is, it's open. And he's gonna go take that on in. He actually ducks for the CRG. I don't think he ducks for the other planes. Not perfect, but pretty cool. Alright, so landing gear is down. I forgot to change. Problem is when you restart Microsoft Flight Simulator, it doesn't keep your settings. Which is very annoying. Uh no, experimental. Get that replay system on. Be nice if it would save my settings. Uh, let's turn on the. It's the lighting turned up. Why is my FPS dying? There we go. Battery master on. We do have AC available. Gen switches all set to auto. Nav lights on. Logo light on. Oh, I think it's all the planes loading in finally. Alright, keep going. Bleed valve set to auto, normal, both engines, ISIL open. And let's uh, get our clearance. here to fuel. Start getting our plane fueled up. I'm not gonna call it the fuel truck, it doesn't seem to work very good. Um, just takes a lot of time for it to get over. Uh, today we need... I'm gonna put on board uh, 2900. It looks like we already have stuff, so we actually want to decrease. No, I want to go, go the other way. That fuel is going to come off board now. Just have to defuel. I guess we just need an auto. Okay. That fuel's coming off board. We're going to go back to the flight computer and get this set up. Our initial position is Kilo, Charlie Lima, Tango, Charlotte. Copy that down here, execute, check the other pages, 
nothing there. Uh, next page, flight plan, origin again is Kilo Charlie Lima Tango. Take that to Kilo Golf Sierra Oscar. 72 miles, so very short flight. Um, alternate is right back here at uh, Charlotte. If you have any issues. Uh, our runway today should be 36 center, and they did give us clearance, didn't they? Yeah, we did get the clearance. Uh, runway center, yep. 36 center. Uh, via, I put our first waypoint. We only have one waypoint on the entire flight, so. Just like that. Go back. Start the gas. There it is. That's all we need to do. One waypoint. Uh, we don't have a. We don't have an instrument departure. We don't have a arrival. Just one waypoint. Our flight plan is five or our, our um, number five four nine seven. Distance actually somehow increased because of Gantz. And we will start getting the passengers on board now. So let's uh, request boarding. Boarding requested. I'm going to put the guardrails down since we're going to have the jetway come over. And open our cargo doors. It would be cool to actually have them board via the stairs on this plane, uh, but we're parked at a gate. Maybe when we land, we throw we will. Because then we can see all the passengers come out. Hopefully, they go along this path, and they'll just float to the plane. Oh, yeah, they're not gonna... I guess we're gonna have some floating passengers, probably. Ah, oh, the realism. The realism. Just can never get it. For some reason, this parking spot is very wrong. We should be much closer up to the front. Oh, that's probably the issue. Alright, let's continue on hydraulic pumps. One, three B and two are on, and three A is, or no, they should all be to auto. Oh, actually, we'll do this. Do the test on our hydraulic page. Hydraulics. We want to see all green, three thousand psi. Go back up, and now we set them all to auto. And we're gonna have nothing now. And we turn on three alpha, and we have the three thousand PSA coming or PSI coming from the three alpha. Okay. Continuing on packs left and right. Uh, up here, packs left and right. Over. On. So we've got faults because we don't have the APU going yet. Um, circulating fan on. Windshield heating left hand and right hand right here, set to low. Emergency lights are armed. Seatbelt signs can come on. No smoking on. Anti-skid switch, we can arm that. Right in here on the pedestal. Armed. Zero bay, overheat. Doing our tests. Engines N1. Uh, ground sp uh, spoiler spoilers ground lift dump switch uh, is in the auto position thrust reversers will arm those later stab trim and mock trim on and yaw damper back into performance let's see if there's a I haven't seen anyone coming on yet floating through there so they might not sometimes these gates are broken for GSX, and I didn't edit them and make them all work. Um, they will put on the cargo, though. So that's a nice thing. So let's go to performance page. Change to zero fuel weight. Today we have, for zero fuel weight, uh, 28,000. 28,000. Enter. Uh, fuel. Um, get fuel from the aircraft. And we'll copy the data right into the FMS. We don't even have to 
put this all in manually. This is nice. There it is. Let's uh, see, we have 70 passengers, 84 kilos average each. Cargo 1434, fuel 2884. Cruise altitude today. We're going to be at 13,000 feet, so we're not even going to get up. We're just going to go up and come back down. So, nice short flight. Um, on this one, maybe we'll look at the time. Maybe we'll get another US tour flight in, considering this one's so short, but probably not. My wife and baby will be up soon, and then it gets all kind of hectic. I right, got the V speeds in. Turn up this uh, lighting. Actually, I can get Pack X going. I want to get it going, but I didn't get FSU PC started yet, so we'll get that going. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we had a not much, not much action on the first stream, unfortunately. I think it was a beautiful flight, though, flying over Guatemala and Belize in the Cessna 208 for that world tour flight. Uh, we're gonna have a few more flights in smaller planes coming up as we go through the Caribbean. Electrical. While we're waiting on that, let's get the APU started. Fuel pumps on. What's going on with the AP? Why do we have no power? Oh, the flap is open. But the AP is not starting. Um, oh, no, it did. Hey, okay, I don't know why this isn't. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong screen. Is there an APU screen, actually? I think there might be. No. But it has started. We do have the power going through the APU now. Uh, now we can start this flight. Let's get the trim in. The trim is 7.4. Uh, go to the status page. Flight adjustment. There. Oh, there's the APU. It's on the status page. There it is. Okay, uh, passenger signs are on. Fuel bumps are on. Just waiting for that. Uh, waiting for the cargo to get loaded. Turn off this.
ladies and gentlemen, I would love to welcome you aboard our flight. When you find your seat, please be sure to place your larger carry-on items in the overhead bins and smaller items underneath the seat in front of you. Unless you're in the front row, please place all of your items in the overhead bin. If you have any trouble finding a location for your carry-on items, please let a flight attendant know and we would be happy to assist you. If the overhead bin is full after you put your carry-on inside of it, please close the bin as a courtesy to other passengers. Once all your items are put away, please clear the aisle and sit down in your seat to allow other passengers to find their seats as well. If you are seated in an emergency exit row, please read the exit seating responsibilities in the safety card in the seat back in front of you. Please make sure you are willing and able to perform the actions required. If you are not able or prefer not to perform these actions, please let a flight attendant know so you can be reseated. Now is the time to get out any last minute text messages if you need to, but we ask that once we depart from the gate, you put away any last minute Alright, our arrival is 23 right. So we'll do the ILS 23 right. And I don't think we need to use any stars. Yeah, we're not going to really have one. Because if we were to do a, any of the stars, would be way around where we need. So we're just going to kind of come in and just hit that arrival. On transition, I don't think we need that either. ILS, two, three, right. Final. Actually, we can do the transition through that. Because we'll go right into the, the VOR. And then we'll come out. Let's go final. I like that approach better. Fly over green door. girl, too. Okay. So, we'll just do vectors. Execute, flight plan, legs, you have discontinuity, we just clear that out. There we go. On this page, direct intercept. Uh, what's going on here? I didn't go with live time, did I? Okay, and uh, we can arm. Well, that's later. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to do her pushback. We're ready to go. Here we go. Well, let's do it. Request pushback. Probably close our doors. Right, so he's going to be putting the uh, pin in. Departure check completed. Bypass pin inserted. That's right there. Kind of tucked up in there. You can see it kind of waving around. Clips through the plane. Too bad. All right, we are going to runway. Da, 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 runway 36 Center. The airport map looks like where I'm going. 36 Center. Uh, we want to push so our nose is pointed to the right. Release parking brakes. Parking brakes release. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Okay, beacon light on. And we will start the right engine. Charlotte 
Welcome to your American Airlines flight. On its way to one of more than 350 destinations. In countries across the globe. Made possible by more than 130,000 dedicated citizens. And now this thing's gonna turn me all around. It always does the weird pushback. Waiting your confirmation for good engine start. Right, start the left engine. During taxi takeoff and landing. And remember, seatbelt should be fastened whenever you're seated in case of unexpected parking brake. Now, make sure your seat is upright. All larger electronic devices are put away. Carry-ons are placed all the way under the seat in front of you. Cockpit and your to ground. Cable is we have a good engine. Start. Your carry -on you can disconnect. The overhead bit. If you have a handheld device, parking brake is set. Again. If your electronic device falls okay, into your seat, the please break. do not adjust your seat and contact a crew member for assistance. U.S. All right. I thought the parking brake too soon. Cigarettes at any time. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying smoke detectors in the lavatories may result in a fine. U.S. law requires all to comply with lighted and posted signs. And Charlotte Brown, Blue Street, 5473, requesting pushback. Which explains the safety features of the Unlocking here. Do I not need the parking brake on? This aircraft is designed to escape path lighting on or near the floor. In the unlikely event of an evacuation, leave all carry-ons behind and follow the lights. All right, we have our engines. Double check the electrical down here. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass bin removed. Take a moment to locate the nearest one. Keep an eye on the Come on. Left is clear. Right is clear. Probes left hand and right hand on. Anti ice is required. Taxi lights on. On. When directed to exit, jump onto the slide and move away from the exit. Flaps. Obey the degrees. Taxiing Foxtrot Alpha Echo Echo One. It's our honor to care for you on your journey. If this you have any questions, Foxtrot right now. We're gonna get feel free to ask any of the cabin crew as they do their final Foxtrot the Alpha. And as always, let us know if there's anything we can Very do alpha. to make your journey more enjoyable. Uh, oh, there's Alpha. Okay, so we're gonna just take Foxtrot all the way down, cross the runway. Then we'll get the Alpha and then they'll take us to Akron. So we don't need to do anything. Yeah, there's the hold shore. Hold shore runway 2305. Taxi 2, parking 126, Mile Alpha, Alpha 3, 1645, heavy. Flight directors on. Question is, is where's UPS going? Charlotte Ground Blue, Streak straight out there. Another American though is going to come flying at us. Looks like. We actually got some movement here at the airport with the Alpha Indigo traffic running. Nice. See. 
FS HUD ATC just doesn't inject traffic as well. Taxi 2 and hold short runway, 18 right, the taxiway away, Echo 14, Echo November, cross runway tree, 6 center, November, Whiskey, Whiskey, 10, Blue Streak, 5547. Welcome everyone into the stream, we're flying, yeah, didn't see the title. Uh, we're flying up Charlotte up to Greensboro, North Carolina, in the CRJ 700 from Aerosoft on PSA Airlines American Eagle regional flight. Going to be a very short one. We're not even. We're only going to get up to 13,000 feet. Oh, quick flight. But since we started an hour late on the last flight, not a big deal. Right, we're contacting tower because we need to cross this runway. Take this jog, which is Alpha, over Charlotte to Brown, Echo. Street, five, four, nine, seven. Runway vacated with Fox Trust. Blue Street, five, four, nine, or seven. Continue taxi via Fox Trot. Continue taxi via Fox Trot. Blue Street, five, four, nine, or seven. Charlotte Ground American two six eight eight requesting pushback. American two six eight eight pushback request accepted. Alright, all the way down to Echo 1, taking off the runway, elevation 692. Before we take off, I want to set the landing elevation for our takeoff here. Five four nine or seven. Contact Charlotte Tower one one eight decimal one. American two six eight eight. Contact Charlotte Tower one one eight decimal one. Blue Street five four nine or seven. Our landing elevation is six nine two. Spin this bunch. There we go. Get on the runway. Looks like we're clear. Just want to double check. Okay, why are we clearing people to take off runway 18 center? That doesn't make sense. Runway 36 Center cleared for takeoff. Blue 
Yeah, we have someone trying to take off on the other the, the other direction. So are we supposed to be taking off? Well, why are we taking off this way, but everyone else is getting the other parents? Oh, well, we're gonna take off and get out of here. Oh, the realism, I tell ya. It's overwhelming. The amount of realism there is. We're gonna just play chicken here, both the blue streaks taking off right at each other. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Charlotte Tower Lindbergh 4449 at runway 18 center ready for deployment. Every once in a while that happens, it seems. Alright, the ATC gives me one direction. And then it's the other direction actually. Alright, landing gear up. Yeah, it looks like everything's going 18. Of course. Autopilot. Sometimes you hit the yaw damper buttons and it doesn't actually do anything. Alright, we're climbing to 11,000. There's Charlotte and the airport behind us. You see all the planes coming in. Looking really good. Why are we dipping now? I'm still dealing with how to get a good AI. Um, why are we not climbing? American one three zero radar contact. Continue descent four thousand altimeter three zero zero two. Continue descent four thousand. American one three zero. I'm trying to get the mix of. Uh, Good ATC and get the planes going, and you see the planes are all coming in different directions. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm using FS HUD ATC, and I had it injecting traffic. I want to turn off the injecting traffic and just have uh, the Alpha Indy Group traffic. And the Alpha Indy Group traffic—that's why you can hear the in-game ATC, and they're going the opposite direction of what um, FS HUD gave me because FS HUD what FS HUD does is it it actually puts the flight plans for everyone else and so then when it tells you to land on runway or take off runway 36 it's not going to go the wrong direction okay, where are we going and we uh did I forget a button I did <laughs> I forget to hit nav there we go remember we don't have auto throttle so we do have to control the throttle ourselves Off the landing lights. Alright, so basically, I think this is what, 14 minutes total till we get there? 
I think that's what it is. Or is it 7, 20? Uh, Grazia, Mrs. Italia, Alitalia. Um, my first flight was on Alitalia, Boeing 7 trip, or 777, first class, Hilo Lima Alpha X ray to Lima India Romeo Fox. Uh, so, uh, Los Angeles to Rome. Awesome. Yeah, I never, I never flew the Alitalia livery. By the time we got to Rome, it was already defunct. So I still see Alitalia liveries with the Alpha India Group traffic injection, but I flew the uh, ITA or whatever it is now. You can see how far off we kind of got on the, because Gans is right there. I mean, we're just up and down. So actually, this is a little bit of a diversion. We got the in-game. I have the in-game ATC going, and they're American they're interacting Indian with um, the Alpha Indie Group traffic. I'm using using FS HUD because it just tends to work better. It just tends to work better, um, giving me what I need. But uh, I don't know. I might. Just, the problem with the uh, in-game ATC is it doesn't allow me clearance in the CRJ and in most planes, actually, for some reason, IFR clearance. But in... But FS, it's... I'm just trying to figure out which ATC I want to use. But I'd like to hear the chatter. I'd like to, ha I'd like to see other planes. we got Charlotte in the distance there. Looking really good. Finally loading in. I don't think I downloaded a... I did download something for the city, but then I don't think I actually used it. I don't know if I was having an issue because all the buildings look fake. Maybe I downloaded the downtown. I, maybe I did actually put those in. The photogrammetry and stuff. There's Charlotte Motor Speedway. Uh, I believe NASCAR races two races. They might actually race three races there now, or still two, but one of them is the Coca Cola 600, 600 mile race, which is, I believe, 400 laps around that speedway. Uh, the one and a half mile speedway, I believe. And then during the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs, they do a road, they do the Bank of America road course, which they put in there now. That's pretty cool. I like that little, uh, the little stadium outside. Alright, so we're en route to Gantz, our only waypoint. Such a short flight, we don't even have an instrument departure. Uh, we could, I think we could have done a departure, which would have just taken us to Gantz, but we're so far, so close to Greensboro at that point, there's no um, terminal approach route. Just gonna watch our speed.
Just a nice short hop over to Greensboro from Charlotte. Now I'm trying to figure this out. As we move towards Gantz, for some reason, on the ATC here, that actually gives me, like, shows me my distance. Oh, there it goes. Now it's starting to go down. It was climbing before, for some reason. Like, <laughs> like we're on the route. And it's like, oh, you're getting further from Gantz. Um, we're only eight miles away from it. Well, I don't know what <laughs> this is going by. This is all confused. Crossing the Baden Lake and the Yadkin River. Yeah, actually, we could have just gone from, instead of turning back to Gans, we could have just gone from where we went out to and gone straight and would save some time. But now at least we're back on the route. Check my parking.
Foxborough Tower, Blue Streak 549 or 7, is 24 miles south, 12,000 feet. Alright, let's see what the end game ATC gives me. Blue Streak 549 or 7, Greensboro Tower. <laughs> See, they're the Johnny complete opposite five right. So we're gonna go off of. Let's see, what is five right? Is five right, a stupid runway. Who else? That's the opposite direction. It is. Blue Street five four nine or seven. Descend and maintain six thousand. Descend and maintain six thousand. Make straight in runway five right. Blue Street five. Descend and maintain six thousand. Blue Street. All right, we're gonna use the in-game ATC. As I said, I'm kind of souring on the. Oh, we need to switch this though. So oh, our rival is actually gonna be ILS five right, opposite direction. Let execute. Now we're really confused. Next, um... Hagen. Start descending here. Nice glare right there. to the uh, radio page, make sure we got our uh, final. We have begun our final descent into your destination. Flight attendants will be passing through the cabin right, into to collect your any destination. one final time. Please ensure tray tables are stowed and seats are in the full upright position. Please also store any carry-on items either in the seat back pocket right, or so under Pagan the Pagan is Please our capture point, 2,800 feet. And stow any larger electronics. Um, ILS is going to be 111. Point nine. Uh, VOR is one one six point two. It's already in there. Minimum for the landing is a ele uh, eleven hundred feet. Actually, gonna kind of swing out this way, vector out, and then we'll come loop back in. That way, we can get down to uh, 2800. All right, uh, landing lights on, taxi lights on as well. We really need to slow down.
Alright, landing speeds. Got the VRAF 132. I said it's a quick flight. Also, the flight's just us trying to arrive and not be coming in on the runway too fast. You can see the runway over there. And we'll try to get on Pagan. I don't know if we'll capture the Glide or the ILS, but we'll we'll take it in. The most graceful uh, flight that I was a distracted on things. We'll get it landed. See the runway right there. Uh, we are runway 5 right, so it's going to be on our right side, obviously. So that should be the next 5 left. Plane gonna turn? I'm gonna turn on Pagan? Okay, I guess not. Very weird, it didn't uh Uh it wasn't going to where the heck is it going? Kinds. Oh it's doing like the missed approach. Alright, we're gonna take this in manually then I guess. Landing gear down. Let's see if we can get a replay action this time. Seems like lately I've been trying to do these replays in sim and they just go away. Envoy 1, Terminal's on our left, hangar's on the right, we're going to be going to the left, and we'll find a, maybe we'll find a parking spot where we can release the passengers via the stairs. And a little bit of wind here. Five 
hundred. Sink rate. Five hundred. Four hundred. Pull up. Three hundred. Sink rate. Two hundred. Minimums. Sink rate. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. A little bit, a little bit of a steep descent there. I don't know how good a landing that was, but uh, staying on the center line, that's the key. We will exit it right here. Kilo three. Blue Streak five four nine or seven exit runway Whoa. when able. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached our destination. The local time is eleven twenty seven AM and it's currently about sixty six degrees Fahrenheit. You can now use your mobile devices. Please remain seated until the aircraft has come to a complete stop and the seatbelt sign is turned off. Envoy Remember to use caution when opening the overhead bins as items may have been shifted during the flight. We thank you for flying with us and we hope to see you again soon. Alright, so what do we got around here? We got a looks like we got a Endeavor Park. I'm not sure what that is. I can't. Oh. Blue Streak 549 7 acknowledge last transmission. Sorry. 121 decimal niner for Blue Streak 549 7. Follow me, car. Going to one two one decimal niner on boy four zero five niner. Where are we going? Am I going the wrong direction? On the right direction? Oh, here we go. What gate do you want me at? Only problem with the follow me car is I think the license plate is wrong. It's too European. I might be wrong. Maybe that's the kind of license plate they have for follow me cars at airports. Where's our gate? Oh, right here. I see all the stuff. I like they got the little, uh, uh, little ladder there for the, the marshaller. You can see them. I haven't seen that before, but that's pretty cool. That actually makes it a lot easier to see them. Even though we don't really need the ladder because we're such a sh small plane, that's more for a bigger plane that I'd be useful for. Stop! Parking brake set. Drop the navs. Um, right over here. Start up the APU, really. Hope we can actually. Chalks. Ground power. Got that. We don't actually. Parked a bit too far and to the right. Okay. Well, I was just following what she said. And yeah, we are too far, but. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I guess we have 
we were going a little too fast. Floating numbers there. Well, let's ask for deboarding, and we'll see how it goes. Deboarding, deboard, deboard. The boarding requested. Let's see if this gate is Passengers, the boarding starting. All right, passenger signs off. Hydraulics can come off. Uh, beacon light off. Hi, thank you for a wonderful flight. Oh, there's the passengers. It's glorious to see them. There they are. This kind of glass is kind of obscuring it because it's so thick. Kind of party in there. Alright, let's go check the Volanta. Actually, stop the replay. Should be able to play that. Once we get all the passengers off. But we'll jump into Volanta right now and check, check out the flight. Alright, so not the best flight. We could have just kind of cut straight, right? I just done that. Um, yeah, not the best flight pattern. It's such a short flight that we're not a big deal. Landing rate negative 253, so just above my cutoff for that being a soft landing or a decent landing. Uh, 26 minutes for the flight. Really quick flight today. Um, so I guess I have to do a flight from Milwaukee to Chicago or something. That one's, I think the shortest, I think that's the shortest flight, um, commercial flight or CRJ flight, I think, out there from a major airline it is Milwaukee, Chicago. It's like 10 minutes. Let's get everyone off the boarding plane. Starting. Where the heck the cargo? We're not going to unload the cargo. Maybe not. There's the crew. I'm working through the doors. Probably shouldn't do this, but let's do a replay now. Let's connect the ground cart, close the doors, wheel chocks, all that. And I'm going to just turn the lights back on, because I think the lights don't work right. But everything else you don't really need to touch. Or maybe flaps. Also put the Pilots flaps to boarding off. starting. That way it looks exactly like what we just did. Go right here, replay, and we're going to hit play. Oh, that's right. With this, I need to then do record track. Right, so here's our amazing approach.
Get the little replay sign up in the corner so we all know this is a replay and not me actually landing right now. We're definitely getting bounced around. But we do have that new wind gust system with the sim update. The wind will kind of shift speeds a little bit more and there'll be some gusts. I'm trying to think if I delivered in this area. I probably did. Greensboro. Uh, I don't know. I know I've been to Greensboro and Winston-Salem delivered in this area. I don't think I flew over anywhere I delivered though. Beautiful. I love, I just love the approaches um, here in America over airports because you, you usually have a freeway nearby, a lot of warehouses. Um, slightly different than out in Europe and the rest of the world. Alright, let's see how this landing is. Yeah, I flared a little early. I'm, I'm, I'm flaring too early. <laughs> you see that? I'm just flare, flare, flare. Big flare. Okay, nose over. Let's get down. There we go. <laughs> Took a few tries. Awesome. Okay, let's uh, do a replay. Let's do it from a uh, wing view. again and let's go See the awesome Bajan Habashi four season trees and a few fall colors starting to come in. Yeah, nice flight, nice quick flight. A little bit of a firm landing. Not too bad. Okay, let's do. I want to do probably two more here. So we're gonna go. Um, Stop. No, wait, stop. Stop. Oh. Okay. And I think we go over here. Weird spot. There. Definitely a firm, you can feel it when you're in the passenger seat a little bit more. Alright, one more. I want to do maybe on the landing gear, I think. I think 
that is. Good shot. I landed. There it is. Actually, I'm going to want to do a cockpit. We'll do a cockpit shot for the last one. Do landing gear here and then do that cockpit over, kind of over um, on the first officer's side. Kind of GoPro look. Beautiful. Alright, I need to stay on that center line. bad. Alright, one more from the cockpit. Um, but that little bit different camera. Alright, here. A little unrealistic with the screens off, but uh, we're focused on the outside anyway. Just pulling back, keep doing the flare. Maybe I need to fix that trim a little bit, maybe or something. Get it on the ground. Alright, we'll go to the outside view here, and with that, I'm gonna give you guys a. Uh, Uh, well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, but thanks a lot for coming on the flight. Uh, next stream will be on the 1st. It'll be on Saturday, 1100 Zulu time, 6 a.m. Central time in the U.S. We'll be flying from Belize City, uh, Belize, to San Pedro Sola, Honduras. And I'll just give you a quick look. Um, that... Well, here's a cool uh, little map I made for our last flight. We flew from Guatemala up to Belize, revealed the Belize map, and next time we're going to be flying to Honduras. That will be the next stream. And so that will be the next world tour flight, 183. We're flying into every country and territory in the world. You can see everywhere we've been with the flags revealed. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you guys there. It'll be 1100. We're going to be flying cargo flight in the uh, Boeing 737-700 BDSF from PMDG, Belize City, down to uh, San Pedro Sula, Honduras for flight 183 of the World Tour. That might be the only stream, our only flight of the day on Saturday uh, because we're going to be hopefully headed to the zoo. Um, so I don't want to get two flights and even though I'd love to do a US tour flight because this was a fun one uh, both flights today were pretty fun I wish a few more of you guys were here to watch but I guess it is a weekday so it is what it is all right so I will see you on Saturday and until then you guys take care have fun and happy flying